Hi, I'm Brad Burrow. Welcome to Thinking Bigger. I'm with Brandy Johnson. Hello. Limelight. Yes, Limelight, Limelight Marketing. Marketing, okay. Um, Brandy's one of our foundational partners. We really appreciate you being a part of what we're doing with the magazine and and stepping up to, to help us accomplish this. The, the foundational partners are key to us being able to relaunch this initiative, so we're excited to have you. I am very honored to be a part of it. I'm very excited and um, look forward to working with the whole group. Yeah, big big things coming, I think. We're, I think we're, so. We're going to blow this thing up. I think yep. so. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty excited about it. So the, the, the key thing about it is we really want to uh, help small businesses. You know, every, what, what I've found, maybe you can speak to this a little bit, is that as a small business owner, you're good at your core thing that you do. Right. Whatever, you know, for us it's video production. But I've had to learn how to handle my accounting, mm -hmm. how, to, how to market better, right. um, HR, yes. all those things. And uh, I think it would be great if this could be a resource to help people do that. Yeah, absolutely. I know um, in the conversations that I'm having with small business owners, um, just as you described, um, they are really, really good at what they do. And many of them have found a lot of success. Um, and, and then they hit that point where it's like, how do they get to the next level? And sometimes that's where they're trying to tap into some of the skill sets that they're not as experienced in. Maybe they don't know as much about whether that's um, you know, HR at a different level, growing right. a team and hiring, or in the space that we work, it's that marketing and branding, and how do we, uh, you know, grow the company to that next level? Right. So, what a perfect transition. Okay. Tell us about Limelight, Limelight Marketing. Yes. So we want to say it right, right? We say it both ways. Okay. But yes. Uh, All right. So, Limelight Marketing. We are a marketing agency located in Pittsburgh, Kansas, and we work with businesses, small, mid-sized businesses, helping them uh, grow their businesses through professional marketing services. So with many of our clients, um, many of them don't have a marketing team. Some of them maybe have one person who's kind of the go-to for marketing, but oftentimes even if that's the case, they wear multiple hats. So they're right. maybe posting on social media, but they're also doing many other things. Um, some of our clients do have a small marketing team. And what we do is we step in alongside their team and uh, work with them as an extension running their marketing program. So um, oftentimes we are developing the strategy, um, determining what they should be doing from a marketing perspective, what tactics and what channels mm -hmm. to be using, how to allocate the budgets that they have to ultimately help them meet their, their goals, which are oftentimes lead generation, sales, right. um, brand awareness, and some of those. Can you talk about your background a little bit? You have a very unique background. I do. I have an unlikely background for a marketing agency owner, I think. Yeah. Um, yeah, so I, uh, the first 15 years of my career were outside of agency. They were all in-house uh, for two different companies. Um, and while I was a true marketing graduate, and that was my undergraduate degree, um, the first many years of my career were in management, uh, leading teams, leading people, and a lot in process improvement. Um, mm -hmm. uh, process improvement, Six Sigma, um, helping uh, create efficient processes. And so... I, you know, I learned a lot through that time that I actually use in my, in uh, what I do today, but, yeah. um, and a lot of that stint was in the financial services space, and then I made a transition uh, about 10 years into my career, and I actually went and was leading marketing for Lego, um, the education division of the North America um, team, and that that's, sounds like a fun job. It is. It's <laughs> as fun as it sounds. Lego yeah. is a great company and um, a lot of cool experiences, a lot of great people that I got to work with and um, did a lot of marketing there. And that's where I would say I really fell in love with marketing and, and knew, you know, that wasn't until my 30s that I, I knew this is what I want to do. I'm really passionate about it. I love it. Um, I started the agency, kind of had a, a curveball in life where things were changing and uh, my corporate job was relocating to the East Coast and I had always had an itch to be an entrepreneur so chose to start a marketing agency and we've grown and are helping working with businesses both here locally and across the United States. Yeah, yeah, that's great. So talk specifically, um, you know, Thinking Bigger is very focused on small businesses. Mm -hmm. Um, and as a small business, we, you know, we, uh, we'd like to work with the bigger, bigger, big businesses as well, but focusing on small businesses, what, what is it that you can do for a small business? Well, oftentimes, kind of as we've touched on, small businesses from a marketing perspective, um, they either 
aren't really doing anything yet, um, or they've kind of dabbled in some traditional newspaper, maybe some TV commercials with a local TV station or some radio um, efforts. And, and then some small businesses have maybe a single marketing person kind of running some things. Oftentimes what I find as I'm talking to uh, small business owners is they're just not really sure what they should be doing because marketing has changed so much in the last, I mean, you could, you could say in the last year, but yeah. if you look five years back, 10 years back, I mean, it's just changed drastically. And faster all the time too, right? Yeah, absolutely. And even those of us who are focused on it every day, we're working hard to stay on top of right. things and all the Google algorithm changes and all the different technology. And I think that marketing has for sure found a collision between art and, and science and technology. I mean, it's all of those things today. And so, uh, you know, for small business owners, that's overwhelming, even knowing how do you get your business to show up in Google search? And should I have a website or is my Facebook page enough? Um, even some of those basic questions, yeah. um, they often struggle with how do I get started? What should I be doing? And so we can kind of walk alongside them and help them come to those good decisions and then execute the marketing program. Don't you think marketing has changed? I mean, obviously it's changed, but it's so segmented now. Mm -hmm. So for millennials, for example, if you're not on Instagram, mm -hmm. I mean, you, you have to know your target audience so well to know where they are before you even start talking about how you're going to market to them. Would, right. You know, that's so key. Yeah, absolutely. We kind of in the marketing lingo, we call that knowing your buyer personas, but um, absolutely knowing who you're trying to reach and where they live and where they go for information. And it can be very fragmented now. Different, yeah. you know, generations use different social media channels. Um, people search for information differently. And I think the other thing that's changed a lot is this offline versus online. You, you still hear it, but I think it's going to go away soon. I think we're stuck in sometimes saying, you know, the digital marketing or your online, what are you doing for online marketing? But the worlds collide, right? Like you're in a retail store shopping and you have your phone out and you're looking, you might be looking at Amazon to price it, or you may yeah. be looking at comparative options, or you might be saying, can I get this? from this store, but buy it online because they have my size or, you know, and so this whole concept of digital and uh, physical or online, offline, I don't think there's a separation anymore when you put together a marketing strategy. You have to be thinking both ways. So that's one of the challenges of, as, of small businesses as they move forward. They, they really need to understand these things. Right. So that's something you can help them with. Yeah, it, it is. So we oftentimes, when we start an engagement, you know, we sit down and we talk to a business. We want to first understand what are their business goals because there are some commonalities in a marketing strategy that will apply across many businesses, but each marketing strategy should be unique, just like your HR or your, you know, other services right. and products are unique. So really work to understand what their specific goals are, kind of what they have, where they're getting started. What we've often found is that, you know, most businesses – um, have s some little collection of assets. Some of them have a lot of uh, marketing assets, but even if it's a couple of sales brochures or um, some how-to guides or even just some short videos that have been filmed with an iPhone, that's oftentimes a good like s base start for a content repository, right. and we can start working with that and kind of get some quick wins and um, work with some low-hanging fruit to get some, some marketing assets that start working for them. You know, one of the things that I talk to my clients about now in video, it used to be, you know, we want you to make one video for us and we're good. Mm -hmm. that that's not the way no. it is now it's, now it's a strategy it's content over a, a time period that is actually working yes. so it's small businesses have to rethink their strategy in a yeah. big way right now yeah absolutely they do and you know things change also from a video perspective and and, and you know this so well is you know there's different types of videos and you know yeah. there's really high-end professional well-done videos that have their place and and they can work really well and then there's some really quick, like uh, short, more authentic videos that that um, also work really effectively. So there's lots of different types of content and ways that you can I get it I find that there. you have to do all of those things. I think you're if right. If you really want to do well. Yeah. What are your plans for content for Thinking Bigger moving forward? Do, yeah. Have you got some great stuff coming for, for uh, the next 12 months? Yeah, so I do have some specific ideas of topics that um, I'll kind of hold on to those. And, um, but what I think at a you looking at an umbrella. You can tell me, but you'd have to kill me, right? Yeah, that's right. They're, yeah. they're that good. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
No, I think um, holistically, I, my goal is to create content that small business owners can find useful. Um, my hope is that in reading some of the articles that, that we write, that they'll be able to get inspiration or ideas or an actual action that they can go take and put into practice um, to help with their marketing and with their branding. So, um, you know, branding in particular, I think, can be really ambiguous to people. Mm -hmm. Oftentimes people think of a brand as a logo, and that's certainly one element, but it's just a, a, a one, one single element of many. So I'm hopeful that our articles can help educate people and give them um, some thoughts, ideas, and inspiration that they can take and apply in their business. Awesome. How can somebody get a hold of you if they would like to talk to you about their business? Yeah, absolutely. Um, two ways that are really easy, you can visit our website, limelightmarketing.com, or you can call us at 620-308-6998. Uh, my name is Brandy Johnson. Um, I'll talk directly with you. Um, you can also link with me on LinkedIn um, as well. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for being a, a foundational partner. We're yeah. very excited about the future and where this thing is going. So thanks for joining us with that. Thank you for having me. Okay. Thinking bigger, we thank you for joining us.